Okay, just doing a quick video today on the Grand Morris connection from Neodent, as well as going over the Helix implant, one of the new implants launched from Neodent. Gave us this nice kit, so we can take a look at some of the features and benefits of this implant. Great for primary stability, immediate placement. It has these really aggressive threads in a helicoidal shape. They twist up around the bottom of this implant for great stability into bone. But as you get towards the second half of the implant, uh, the upper portion, the, the threads are more squared off for a secondary compression into bone. So it's a fantastic implant. Nice thing about the system, it can be used in all types of bone. We have what's called a plus one drill. It's a slightly wider drill added uh, to the surgical kit so that we can place this in even dense bone. The other thing I really like is the new design in this driver, it's one driver that fits all types of implants, uh, meaning the different diameters we have, believe it or not, in this system. We have a 3.5, a 3.75, a 4.0, 4.3, 5.0, and they're even adding a 6.0 within the next month. So we have six different diameters of this implant that all use one implant driver that goes to the top. That also means um, all of your parts. So everything that we put into this Grand Morris implant, every type of abutment goes into the top, okay? They fit every one of those different diameters. Huge advantage for us, um, for simplicity, for the restorative person's sake. Looking at even a redesign of the impression copings, way better now having two flat sides so that they can go into the implant. This baby locks in. But now when we take the impression and we pick up this cap, we can very easily seat using these two sides and know that our impression coping is down and seated properly. Way better for the restorative compared to what we had previously in the CM connection. I like that subtle enhancement to the design. Even in the multi-unit abutment they made this edge a little bit more rounded again when this guy goes in the thought is that we don't have to use a bone profiler as much to remove bone on the distal aspect if our implant is placed on an angle and we don't need to chew this bone down or take this away to seat our abutments properly okay and even this guy now on top this is actually the impression coping an open tray i don't have the post that slides down on the top but now not only can we use this as a pickup for an open tray but if we need to we can even clip and use this as a temporary all right another really big feature of this when we place our abutments right and we draw this thing down into the hex if you can see this thing seat down into the side what happened in the cm system we have a platform switch but when you go to actually remove the abutment we used to back the screw off. We'd keep turning till we heard a click. We'd have to grab the abutment and shake it and pull to crack that seal in the Morse taper. Now, with this system, we put the screwdriver in. As we back the abutment off, it actually pulls and takes the abutment out for us in that Morse taper connection. Huge advantage, much easier for the restorative folks Okay, even in the universal abutment that we use, we have a new snap cap. I heard that clip. That is way better than our previous design. We still have a coping that we can place over top. It engages the notches in the side. It still snaps in. I would still probably put a little bit of temporary cement underneath. But even this, if you notice the underside of that screwdriver, it's a star, we call it the Neo driver, but it's a, uh, you can really see the, the, the hex on the underside. So now when we engage one of our screws, okay, it's not going to deform or warp or wreck the screw until you get to about 50 or 60 Newton centimeters. That is a polar opposite, totally different from the CM connection that is a much softer screw. 
and unfortunately you had some that would strip when you went past 15 newton centimeters if folks didn't follow directions so uh, again you had to stay inside those parameters there's a little bit of a difference between the CM connection at a 2.5 versus ours at a 3.0 now in the GM connection grand Morris connection everything should be moving in this direction to this much better better enhanced fit so a CM will not fit with a 2.5 into any of the GM connection stuff but another feature really huge is we had a 1.2 screwdriver and the 09 it was a tiny uh, hex again erect those screws now back to that driver one size one screwdriver for everything I hope that helps and uh, look forward to talking to you soon more about this GM system with the connection and also the helix implant one implant for all bone types thanks